Welcome to yet another Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video the Re Da He Shrine, also known as Timing is Critical. In this video I will show you exactly how to reach this shrine and how to finish it when you get inside. I also show you where you can find all treasure chests. The Re Da He Shrine is located at the foot of the Jeweling Peaks in Western Cluda, Jeweling Peaks region, next to the river. It's easiest to start from the Jeweling Peaks table. Just go out and go southwest. Walk towards the bridge and then cross it. The reason I'm crossing the river is that I want to avoid being killed in an enemy camp. So that is why I cross this bridge. When at the other side, turn right and walk along the river. If you like this guide, then please give this video a thumbs up. That will help with the discoverability of this video a lot. And that is what we need to grow this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're there, so you won't miss my future guides and other upcoming videos. I also stream on Twitch. While streaming, I play games like Zelda, Assassin's Creed, Minecraft and many more. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description below. Check it out and come visit the stream someday. Just keep walking at the other side of the river. You can spot the enemy camp I'm trying to avoid. Now you're walking straight towards the shrine. When crossing the river, it's the easiest to use your Cryonis rune to create blocks of ice and cross it that way. The current in the river is strong and there are enemies in the water, which we try to avoid. When at the other side, just walk towards the shrine and eventually start climbing. Just climb up here. And when on top, we made it! Now, let's jump in, shall we? To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Rita Hai! In the name of Goddess Ailea, I offer this trial. Timing is crucial. Read the He Shrine. First, the easiest part. Go stand on the big bad button and let the ball roll down inside the hole. This shrine has three puzzle parts. And this, of course, is the easiest part. When the ball is in the hole, a platform will start moving. Go stand on the platform and go to the next part. At the next part, go stand on the button. Let the ball roll down and get off of the button at the correct time. So the ball will fall on the lower platform and go towards the hole. When the ball is inside the hole, another platform starts moving. Stand on it and move to the third part. Walk down and go stand on the next button. The ball needs to get launched so it will get in the hole again. This is trial and error. As you can see there's a treasure chest at the left. Let's get that. Go stand on the platform and go to the next part with the monk. Do not talk with the monk yet, but turn right. Down there are some metal barrels that we are gonna need. Use your magnesius rune to pick one up. And walk to the edge. Place the metal barrel at the button we last stood on. Mm -hmm. 
Now the big platform you stand on moves. Turn right and climb the platform. Now you can easily reach the chest. Open it and the climber's bandana is in there. Now we need to move the platform back. But we can't reach it from here. So jump on the moving platform and use the magnesis rune to throw the metal barrel off the button. Stay on the moving platform and head back. Now walk towards the monk and when in front, press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> you finished your next shrine. Amazing job! How many times did it take you to launch the ball into that hole? Let me know in the comments down below, I'm really excited to hear. I hope to see you all next week in a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this Proximus Gaming YouTube channel and see you all next week in the new Shrine Guide video. This was Michael, signing off. See ya!